Hi everyone, Mo's here. For those that don't know me, um, my name is Mo and Mary. Uh, I attended the uh, AUC School of Medicine in St. Martin, and I just masked this year into internal medicine at UTMB. Um, so I just wanted to kind of stop here and kind of give my, I guess, thoughts on my, I've been now in residency for three weeks and I wanted to kind of pop in and give my reflections on the past few weeks uh, to say that it's been immense and interesting is the least. Uh, it has been one of the most challenging uh, kind of challenging is a word yeah um, rewarding is another word uh, but more than anything it's just kind of a, a whole different ball game. I think one thing that we really don't realize and we don't talk about is that I always have questions like why is, you know, whenever I heard like the learning curve in residency so steep, like why is that? Uh, and the reason being is that there are so many things coming at you all the time that you really didn't even think before, you know, while you were a medical student or something else uh, to even think about, you know, the amount of things that go through a resident's head, like, you know, the, the amount of, uh, whether it's like, the reports, the just thought about the plan of the patient, you know, as an internal medicine, especially, uh, you know, as a resident of internal medicine, you have an immense, you know, job of basically having to be the quarterback, you know, the organizer of all of these things, you know, you're, you're talking to consultants, you're talking with your own team, you're trying to get you come up with a plan for your patient, you're talking to case managers, you're thinking about their discharge, you're thinking about what you know, what the new problems, you're dealing with new problems that develop all the time, you know, you're also your patient's most, you know, strongest and closest confidant, you know, uh, and so there's a lot of things to take in, you know, as a new intern. And that's why being in a place that you feel comfortable in, but more than anything that makes you feel valued and supported is very, very important. I cannot stress enough the importance of having a place that supports you, that has, you know, your uppers or your seniors that are there for you, you know, because as an intern, you mess up more than you think. And having someone like Angel Wings around you basically to, to kind of like, you know, watch for for your pitfalls. And at the same time, if you do make a mistake, you know, they're there to help you and support you and teach you how to be better, you know? And that's something that is very, very crucial. So whenever you're thinking about your programs, think where you would like to be in an environment that A, makes you comfortable, B, makes you feel supported, and more than anything, you know, will help you reach out your career goals. We all have goals. We all have a variety of different goals. But the most important part of it, you know, is having a place that kind of encompasses all of that. And there's never going to be a perfect place. Uh, it's just about who, what you feel like is the most important things to you. You know, some people think that location is more important to them. Some people think that, you know, specialty. Some people think that, like, you know, I guess, like, opportunities and whatnot. To me, you know, I always wanted to come back to Texas, you know, I'm from Texas, but I also wanted a good program that has a strong focus on, you know, um, that was, you know, in a university program that has a strong focus on the actual, you know, science and, and research, but at the same time had a very kind of like collective and, and supportive environment, you know, uh, because residency is tough as it goes, you know, you wake up every day, you know, at 435 and you're there, you know, until, you know, you finished your job, your work, you know, sometimes you work 12 hours, 14 hours, because you're trying to get through all of your, you know, all of your work and you have other people depending on you, relying on you. So the most important thing, and there's one thing to take home from my experience in the first week is find you a place that appreciates you that supports you in a place that you feel like after you finish, even though you have spent like 14 hours or 12 hours, you know, working, when you leave, you feel fulfilled. And that's one of the main things that I would say the differences as a medical student is that, you know, you're it. This is like the responsibility of like doing all of these things lies on you and having a place that will help you and teach you how to be the best physician and the best version of you who you can be is very, very important for you, for your career, and then obviously for what you decide to do in the future. So good luck, and uh, I'm really excited to see where y'all end up.